going on everyone? Brick here with Subi Events. I'm standing here with Julian of LP Adventure and these guys make some pretty cool stuff for taking your Subaru overlanding. So Julian, assume I'm a, a new Subaru owner. Yep. I just bought a new Outback or a Forester or something. It's totally stock okay. and I'm starting from scratch. <laughs> yep. I want to take it overlanding. What do you, what do you guys make and uh, you know what would you recommend going with first if you're first getting into overlanding? First thing, Brick, I'd say you don't want to get stuck in the bush or in the woods. So first thing first, I'd say you need a good set of tires and a good set of wheels. Uh, we don't manufacture tires ourselves, but we manufacture the proper wheels to accommodate the tires. Yep. So that's the first thing you want to do. You don't want to get like a flat tire when you're in the middle of nowhere in the woods. That'd be the number one thing. Right. Uh, I'd say 99% of our customers also use a lift kit. So they're going to be using our two inch lift kit for most of the models that we provide. Uh, gain some ground clearance, especially in the front end of the car, get the better, uh, better uh, attack angle, yep. I think you say. Yeah, appro approach angle, approach with angle departure angle, you. yep, exactly. exactly. With wheels and tires, a lot of times with off-roading, you're going to a smaller wheel so you can have more tire, right? Exactly. And you then also some sometimes rubber. a wider one too. Exactly. And then also to your point about lifting it, yep. that also helps fit the bigger tires as well too. Absolutely. So we Absolutely. want to do that. Um, and then, you know, if you're doing that, you're taking your car into the wilderness, yep. you've got the, the lift and you've got the tires, yep. you need to protect it too, right? So you guys make some stuff for that? Exactly. If you're a bit more serious about off-roading yep. or overlanding, what you want to do is to protect uh, um, the, the, the most vital parts underneath the car, like your oil pan or your, any, any, anything that that is involved in the drivetrain, usually. Right. Uh, so we manufacture our own set of bumper guards also to prevent you from having scratches on it and stuff like that, where we also mount the skid plates uh, right underneath our bumper guard. Uh, so, so that way it's solid. If you hit a rock or you get into a small accident, you're going to be protecting all the, the, the most major parts of the car. Because there, there, there'd be nothing worse than being like out in the middle of nowhere and catching a rock in your oil pan exactly and then what are you gonna do right yeah good luck with that <laughs> can't call it tow yeah. truck no, so yeah exactly. gotta protect that same thing can yep. happen with the transmission and the the rear differential absolutely and then as far as other accessories stuff like that that you guys have for uh, it we have all sorts of protection like uh diff protection we have like a uh, control arms and trailing ah. arm oh, uh, protection okay. as well yeah, so that's important. Uh, everything that is sitting at the lowest point of the car that's where you need to protect it the most that's, that's going to be the, the the first impact zone right and rock sliders too along yeah, the side of the car as well thanks for reminding me about <laughs> those they're very important also if you don't want to not being able, able to open your your uh, your door because something uh, something knocked underneath or stuff like that so yes exactly what do you guys have going on as far as like design engineering development that kind of stuff why should people get LP adventure yeah so at the end of the day we're uh, we're manufacturer but we also do all the prototyping in in-house we do uh, all the testing procedure and development I understand and you guys have uh, like all the machinery and stuff to make sure that the rollover stuff is uh, not an issue. Like that's yeah. gonna it's gonna meet the same standards that a factory car would would make essentially. Absolutely, because that's basically always a concern for the customer. He wants to make sure that his eyesight system will will work, that the ABS, the traction control, and stuff like that. So all of our products are designed that it doesn't affect any of the original equipment of the car. Gotcha. And are, so the lift kits that you have. Uh, are, there, are you generally just like using spacers and are there subframe spacers to keep like the factory alignment and that sort of thing? Yeah, exactly. It's a really complete kit, probably the most complete on the market. So sometimes you'll see a lift kit for half the price because it's basically half a kit because I mean it's Right, because yeah, you don't want to screw up, you know, if you just basically do like a taller spring or yeah. something or just even a, a spacer uh, on the strut, yeah. then you basically throw off the alignment and everything that... Yeah, that especially at the back of the car, the geometry is there. Very, very important yeah. and uh, it's specific to those cars so I mean at the end of the day what you don't want to do is start messing around and not being able to put it under original uh, specifications though. yeah so, so you want to have you want to have those spacers to drop the subframe and yep. that stuff too so that Absolutely. way everything stays aligned everything stays happy you're yep. not wearing out tires prematurely you're not having maybe some stabilization issues and that kind exactly. of thing right if you have nothing to do on the weekends, I'll hire you to, uh, to, to, to be able to support the brand. You know your stuff. That's good. All right. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. This is Julian from LP Adventure. Thank you, man. Thanks, Appreciate man. it. Have a good one.